Today I choose a very important topic for you people that is the letter writing. Letter writing is really an art. So there are two broad categories of letters. Number one is informal letters or we can say a personal letters. And these informal or personal letters written to our friends or family members. The second category of letter is formal. As the name shows that it is written to the various official purposes. Or it is also called business letters. So I'll start from the informal letters. Informal letters, as you know, that it is written to our friends or the family members. So a typical informal letter consists of the following parts, and they are sixes numbers. Number one is heading or sender's address. It simply means if I write a letter, so the heading is my address. The number two component of informal letter is date. The number three is salutation. After salutation, body. After body, the next part is subscription. And the sixth part of informal letter is signature. So very first part of the informal letter is heading. As I told you before, this is the sender's full address and it is written in following order in separate lines. So keep your focus here. Number one, house, you must write your house or apartment number as it is shown in the slide. Then the second part is the, your street or the road number as it is written here. Then the third part is your city or the post code. And the last one is province. So this is the heading. And this heading is usually written on the top left of the page. Keep this thing in your mind that the heading must be written on the top left of the page. The second component of an informal letter is date. And date is placed just below the sender's address. That means it is just placed after the heading. The third part of an informal letter is salutation, means to call someone. So this could take various forms depending upon whom the letter is being written to, means to whom you are writing your letter. So there are so many salutations here. The first thing is important that the writer's relationship with the receiver determines the form of salutation. For example, if you are writing a letter to your father or your mother, so you must write my dear father or my dear mother. If you are writing to your friend, so you must write or uh, my dear Naila. If you are writing your letter to your grandma or grandpa, so you must write dearest grandma. If you are writing to your aunt or uncle, so you must write your aunt, Kiran, or whatever your relation is. The next part of an informal letter is body, and that is the most important part of the letter. The body of the letter has three parts or portions. 
the number one part of the body of the letter is the opening sentence and the opening sentence must vary with the purpose of a letter for example thanks a lot for your invitation i'm writing after a long time i'm really sorry for not writing to you earlier so this is the very first part of the body in which you are writing something to the a person to whom you are writing a letter the second part of the body is actually the message which is the main part of the letter could be an answer to a letter received or a letter on whatever topic one wishes to write this is that part of the body in which you are writing what you want to write to the uh, person to whom you are writing a letter and then the third part of the body is the concluding sentence of the body closes the letter and it could be anything depending upon the writer relationship with the receiver for example i look forward to hearing from you soon i will write to you soon again the details of our trip i look forward to visiting you next week then the next part of an informal letter is subscription this is after the body and like the heading the closing lines are usually written on the bottom left of the page you must memorize yourself that when we start writing the letter with heading it is also on the left side and the subscription this is the closing lines and they are also usually written on the bottom of the left of the page a capital letter begins the closing line and a comma ends it as example given yours affectionately lovingly sincerely i'm using the slashes here but when you use the subscription in your letter you must use comma after you are affectionately you are lovingly you are sincerely and then you write any relation with to whom you are writing a letter for example your loving son comma your loving daughter comma your loving father comma your loving mother comma and so on and so forth then the last component of the informal letter is signature as the name shows that this includes the name or a signature of a letter writer so these all six components are concerned to the informal letter writing and they are very useful for you to write the letter then after these six components of informal letter a very important thing which is left and that is the envelope when you have written a letter then you need definitely an envelope in which you are putting your letter and send it to a person to whom you are you have written a letter so this is a sample of an envelope you can see the receivers receivers mean a person to whom you are writing a letter the receiver's full address occupies the center of the envelope can you see it miss alia khan third floor 6/14b bal town lahore and this is the code of the city so this is the address of a person to whom you have written a letter and the writer's address written in full and it appears on the letter in the bottom left part of the envelope and that means this is your address can you see it is appear on the letter in the bottom left part of the envelope and this is kamran kazi 11 rupi apartments 17a stadium road karachi and this is the city code of karachi and this is your address it means you have written a letter so this is your address so this is all about the informal letter i hope that you can get the full advantage 
to learn how to write a letter and you will find so many letter writing in your summer vacation work so practice all those letters on a same pattern uh, in the next lesson inshallah i will explain you about the formal letters that are called the business letters take care keep yourself happy at home and wealthy and healthy and take care allah hafiz